We have gone back to the Chapter 1 Season 5 map and throughout this month the seasons we will go through are Season 5 to Season X but a very different one to what we experienced in 2018-2019 due to time travel. Dr. Sloan has tasked Jones with an extraction but made it very clear this mission is not to change the future but this seems to be happening. Echoed by Sloan's statement in Part 4 of the upcoming audio logs. This is goodbye for this me and that you, but we'll meet again. Reality's not done with us yet. I also want to bring up one more line from Dr. Sloan. Everything you do will ripple forward to this very moment. For me, it sounds like the Sloan and Jones we have gotten to know and love are going to be erased. Like the possibilities of change are endless. The events after Chapter 1 led Jones and Sloan eventually to leave the Imagined Order. So how is time travel going to work in Fortnite? Well, I, I think it's going to work like this. I'm going to explain it with this can of Diet Coke. So if Jones tries to change a point in time here, oh, I've changed time. What Sloan says is time will ripple forward. So whatever he does will ripple have a ripple effect forward. But I believe, because some people are saying, well, the houses are different. Some of the things are different before the point in time is changed. Well, if it, if time bends and bolts, the point is changing time will also affect time before the point is changed. If you drop it like a water droplet in water, it will ripple outwards everywhere. So I think that's what happened here. And some people say, oh, why, don't, why doesn't he just change the timeline back? Well, that would be some very, very controlled if writing. And that would be a slap in the face. Because I reckon if you try to change the timeline back. You shouldn't be able to do it. Some people are saying, is this a parallel timeline? Well, this ball of energy would make that rather difficult. And of course, Sloan's previous line about rippling forward tells me that what Jones is doing is making changes to her present. Which makes a parallel timeline very unlikely. But a parallel reality would mean two zero points because we are getting a zero point in the next update. And a parallel timeline would mean a timeline with a complete different history. Could it possibly be a branch timeline that everything that happened after Chapter 1 Season 5 happened adjacent to the timeline we just left? Again, Sloane's dialogue would dismiss this theory as well because everything would ripple forward to her present. Or no, could it be Sloan in a branch timeline? Well, possibly, but I wouldn't think so because then this Sloan wouldn't have the other Sloan's memories. So this is just my opinion, but in my opinion, a branch or parallel timeline should mean two zero points. That would mean two omniverses, two last realities, two sevens, two imagined orders. And I think this would mean the destruction of the omniverse. We've all seen the in-between. The zero point in the center, and I believe these are a depiction of reality branches going out to other realities. If there was two zero points, wouldn't they clash, destroy each other, and signal the end of the omniverse? Also, the zero point, I feel like the clue's in the name. It's point zero of the entirety of the omniverse. Let's imagine a scenario that the two sevens from each of these parallel omniverses run into each other. Well, this is a zero point. No, this is point zero. What reality are you from? I'm from reality 10. I'm from reality 10 too. So does that mean I'm, re I'm from reality 10.5? It's definitely that Jones has changed the timeline and our past that we experienced is now very different. So I guess now we have to presume that Caleforn did kill both Oro and Midas. How did this change what should have played out? And does it even matter if the timeline is already going to be changed again anyway? And here's an interesting thought. Was the timeline what we experienced in chapter one? Was that originally what played out? Or was that already changed as well? For example, Bonker Jones's Vision's loan screen. It's still put down to this day as him consuming Peely, which is slightly touched on in the chapter three season two storyline. Or was he a time traveler? I mean, he was in Kato Fawn's prison, so this could have been the case. And of course, with the Rift Beacon Zones to Comet over Dusty in Season X, some time alterations did occur. What do you make of this? Let me know down in the comments below. Leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. It's been your boy Mr. JL Wyatt. Next time, bye bye.